Yo guys, what's up? Hey, another weekly post-fight breakdown with your boy Sandman. All right, uh, here's the deal though. We were gonna keep calling it MMA, uh, or not MMA casuals, but we were gonna keep calling it Casuals University, uh, but I decided that I think that that's kind of stupid and lame, and maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't really know. You guys kind of, I guess, comment below. Let us know if you guys think it should be called something lame or just something simple which is what it is, but me and Eli just keep getting an argument about it. So let me know. Anyways, the fights that we're gonna do today, uh, in this video, we're gonna do Barboza versus Yusuf, which was a banger of a fight. Let's get into some of the things that I feel like could have been maybe done a little bit differently, but also that they did super well, um, how their styles kind of work just in general, and uh, how the fight kind of played out. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into kind of the beginning pieces of the fight, just initially how uh, Yusef fights and then how Barboza fights too. So pretty much they're not too much of movers, you know, like definitely Yusef is not much of a mover, you know, uh, not wrong or right or whatever. That's just his style. You know, he stays more grounded to the floor. Um, he's not super interested in cutting left and right, moving backwards. He's able to do that because he has a real tight guard like this, which I think is beautiful. It works. It's really awesome. This type of guard, one, it, I mean, it's obviously really important to have just because obviously you can protect your face. But one thing that I started to notice as like my fight started to kind of go on is longer guards. When you do get hit, everyone sees that shit. Okay. When you're in more of a tighter guard like this, you can get hit with jabs and it really doesn't look like anything really happened. Like you can't be like, oh, he got hit real good in the nose or he got hit real hard in the forehead or anything like that. There isn't really that ability for the aesthetic of you know, the judges watching to be able to notice such things, which is a pretty giant advantage, you know, where if you don't know if I'm getting hit hard or not, most fights go to the judges. This one did it's really hard for the judges to tell, okay? And like that kind of sucks to have to keep in mind when you're participating in a fist fight, but uh, that's the way that it goes. So Sadiq's fight or Sadiq's style is really like this, okay? Real grounded and he's putting like heavy pressure on Barbosa in like right away initially, which I think is a phenomenal game plan. Um, Barbosa is a lot better of a mover, but Barbosa still has this kind of Brazilian Dutch style. Uh, I don't know which one came first, probably the Dutch style would be my guess, but I might be wrong. Tear me up in the comments about that if I'm wrong. But Barbosa has a little bit more rock and bounce in his step, but he's definitely still leaning forward. Okay, and so what that tells me is that neither guy are really going to participate in too much of making the other person miss. What they're going to try to do is either get on the inside, which Barboza did, which I guess would technically still be considered making them miss, but not making them miss when, they're, when Barboza's trying to move backwards. Barbo Barboza was trying to get to the inside and not fall forward, but let his weight fall forward so that he can really crack and ground himself to the floor, which we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, and Yusef is kind of just working this really tight guard being here, putting heavy, heavy pressure on him, okay? So the first kind of area that Barboza, you know, maybe made a little bit of a mistake in is when you do have this style where you're leaning in, the exits, the, the available exits for you are not, uh, there aren't many of them, okay? So if I'm gonna ground myself to the floor, it works in boxing because boxers are super comfortable like rolling underneath, uh, like mildly pulling, but they'll really leave their left leg fairly planted so that they can continue to attack because they're real heavy here. Barboza has the same thing, okay? Like when Barboza does go to attack, he leans real heavy on his front leg, rips body shots, rips uppercuts and stuff like that. But um, that can sometimes get you in trouble because you can't exit out as good. It works in boxing because people play in the, uh, in the pocket a lot more where they'll roll and do all these things, but it's completely different sports to be honest with you. Like that's something that time will tell for sure, but MMA will, it's already, the striking style in MMA is already different than boxing. But if you try to bring in boxing skills to an MMA fight and the MMA guy knows how to fight that character of boxer, it's usually not good for the boxer just because the space is different. The weapons are so different. You can knee, you can kick, all of that jazz. But 
Um, Barboza has that style. So the first thing that happened, kind of, um, they almost both threw a right hand, right? Boom, and they kind of go over each other's shoulder, which happens all of the time, okay? Um, Barboza didn't go to throw this left hook, but Yusuf did. And when he went to throw this left hook, Barboza got out of the way of the first one, okay? They kind of launch another right hand over each other's shoulder. And this one, Barboza, I don't know if he threw or not, sorry. Um, but Yusef definitely punched back, boom, and hits Barboza real good, okay, against the cage. Barboza kind of stumbles again, and then Yusef launches a right hand again, boom, hits Barboza. It was a little bit more round, boom, hits him here. But long story short, if you are going to be a grounded guy and trade punches in the pocket, you have to bring your hands back to your face. And that's a lot easier said than done. Um, like if me and Eli, I have my amateurs and like the people that I coach do this drill fairly often, where we'll punch over each other's shoulder, boom, and then trade hooks on each other's glove just to get each other used to this type of movement. Because unless you drill the shit out of it, you will not do it correctly in a fight. Like you just won't, okay? And then kind of to touch on that same note, a lot of this fight, uh, you can step out for a sec, get the fuck out of here, uh, <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, a lot of this fight, both guys were committing big time on every single shot, okay? I'm not saying that that's wrong, but I'm saying that there is a pretty decent caveat to that, that uh, you're gonna kind of suffer some consequences from that, in my opinion, okay? If every single shot is a committed shot to where I'm trying to starch the person and hurt them real bad, the likelihood of that happening, one, is like fairly low if you're fighting anyone that's good, but the risk is sometimes not worth the reward, okay? That's why I fight the way that I fight is super non-committal, super non-committal. When I see someone make a mistake, they get starched, okay? But they have to make that mistake in order for me to do that, assuming that they're really good. Sometimes people do silly things and then it's like, oh, if you're gonna do something silly, I'm just gonna bomb on you, okay? But long story short is if you're fighting and you're committing to every single shot, I don't care who you are, that's gonna put you out of position for longer and give the other person opportunity to hit you. The better way, in my opinion, again, I'm no expert, but I'm a lot closer to an expert than an average Joe, um, is throw, fairly committed shots, you know, like don't like pump your jab like this, throw your jab like this, but you know, like don't throw your jab like this every single time and try to hit the person every time. They're going to catch on to that if they're good, they're going to slip, they're going to make you miss, they're going to pull, and then they're going to start you, okay? Be kind of non-committal when you're in like more even scenarios, and then when they mess up and you get at a giant advantage, that's when you start to crack people hard. That's a really important note. That's something that I would probably, you know, uh, like maybe criticize the fight a little bit over. Um, but it does make for a super fucking exciting fight. And I know, you know, that's what a lot of people watch for too. But as far as martial arts go, I think it's a little bit better. If you're in even exchanges, don't be mega committal about all the things that you're doing. When you're ready and they make a mistake, then you start committing your, your power on some of the punches. So a couple other really awesome things that both guys kind of did. Uh, and again, um, I think Yusef's like an amazing fighter. I don't understand his style as much as I understand a Barboza style. So I don't mean for this video to be all about how you know awesome Barboza did because that was a super, super close fight anyways. And I think that Yusef, you know, kind of has a little bit of an argument as to why he won. Just at the end of a couple of those rounds, he kind of got hit with some really good stuff. And I think that that's what swayed that fight. So um, the only reason I'm gonna talk about Barboza a little bit more is just because I understand what he's doing a little bit better than kind of the tight guard guy um, who's kind of pressuring forward and using that sort of style. Like I understand it, but I don't understand it deeply and I don't wanna sound like an asshole talking about some shit that I don't really know what I'm talking about with. So um, Barboza, uh, Elias, can I grab you again? One really awesome thing that kept happening in the fight is they were both super guarded and they'd both kind of throw their jab at the exact same time. And oftentimes they'd either hit each other uh, or like Elias would hit me before I could get mine off or I'd hit Elias before he could get his off. Um, that happened like a number of times throughout the fight. Uh, that's kind of just something that you fall into. Like, uh, you don't want that to happen because you're, you're looking at like an even exchange and just 
throwing something and having someone else throw something. And it's just kind of a flip of the coin whether or not you're gonna be on the good side of that or the bad side of that. Assuming that both guys, again, are good, good athletes, which both of these guys are, their speed and their power are pretty close to matched, I would say. Um, but Yusef is cool with kind of like being here, eating it maybe on the forehead, or like, you know, taking shots good, which is its own special skill in itself, is being able to wear a punch really good, like definitely an important skill to be good at. Barboza, when uh, Yusef would throw a jab, he would typically slip to the inside. I like slipping to the inside too because again, it's the same idea where when I slip to the inside, I ground myself real hard on my leg, okay? When I ground and I push my, or my weight and I use gravity and shove it into the floor, it makes me heavier. And if I'm heavier, that means that I get hit harder. So when Barboza goes to the inside, boom, he gets heavy here on his front leg and he's like digging way hard body shots. A couple times he went with like real good uppercuts. Um, he, he wasn't able to do it like every time, but there are a few times in that fight where that happened really, really good. Barboza slips to the inside, boom, he gets real heavy on this front leg was tearing his body a little bit. And then I think it was like end of round three. I believe it was end of round three. Barboza hits Yusuf with like a few pretty good body shots. You know, like Yusuf again, like he wore them well. He didn't, you know, like he didn't make no faces. But you know when you're fighting someone if you just scored a really good body shot. Like especially these guys at the top, we're all real tough dudes. So it's not like... Like you can not show anything, but I, I know that it hurt you. My assumption is Barbosa threw a few of those body shots and while Yusuf didn't make any change in like his demeanor or anything, actually in a few of them, he actually pressed harder, which I thought was cool. But you know when those dig. He dug a couple of those and I think that that's why the wheel kick landed. I'm not gonna try this shit because my legs are kind of fucking sore. It's Sunday, I just got done training for the week. But he lands like real hard here. He hits him like with a couple of these here. Um, and I think Yusuf just thought that it was gonna be on the body or he really didn't want to eat another one in the body. And that's really what set up the super awesome wheel kick at the end of round three. He like dug here, boom, they kind of moved around a little bit. Barboza did this thing, like this weird thing that he does in between each combination and then gets back to it. Fucking wheel kicked, boom, hit Yusuf. Uh, that was kind of, I guess, Elias didn't watch the fight, so. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of how he fell over. He kind of like did a stanky leg thing and then like stumbled over or whatever, but uh, it was the body shots that definitely set that, that, uh, that kick up. So that's pretty much that fight, guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, uh, cast your vote, because I don't really like Casuals University. Um, it just sounds like a twerpy name, like you're a twerp, you know. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't understand. So actually, I know that I don't understand social media. But anyways, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the videos, what you guys want to see more of, yada, yada. Make sure that you guys are having a good week. Be humble. Push yourself, be creative, do all that stuff, be a good person, whatever that means for you. Work on yourself, be cool, don't be lame. The world needs you to be good. Peace.